George Washington's Journey, The President Forges a New Nation by T.H. Green. Now, when Washington became the first president, he had to present the country to the people. So he made some short trips and took the new Republican government out to the people. Republican government meaning that um, America was a republic. It wasn't a monarchy. When he went to these different places, he had to um, decide what he would wear, how uh, he was going to present himself, would he be welcomed sort of thing. And he, when he went and made his uh, stops and visits, he found it was a very diverse country with uh, many different types of groups of people. Now, something that was gave pause to uh, some thinking here was uh, most of the people who came out to see him, they knew they were important, they knew um, they had something to say to him, and they were glad to see him. The people, most of them, did not have the vote or the people that represented them, the town leaders. The people at that time knew they stood a very good chance. They had as much chance as their wealthy neighbors did to be heard, to be listened to. And um, they didn't have the vote. The only people who had the vote at that time were the few and far between white male landowners. But the rest of the uh, citizenry, the whites, from all parts of Europe and England, they did not have the, have the vote. So your white male uh, knew he stood a chance in this new republic. He wasn't under the oppressive uh, monarchies of either Europe or England. But the people did know how important and what a significant thing it was to um, get rid of England, to get them out of uh, the way, so to speak, and forge this new nation. He um, talks about the people and the women. He makes note of the women. Women played a very important role. George Washington did own slaves. Uh, the book mentions, talks a little bit about the cook and another uh, slave who did travel with him. He had two secretaries, and when he uh, became president and did these travels, it was at the end of his life, So, and he had been sick. He um, did not have his full strength and never did regain it, even though he made these trips to the uh, rest of the country. Also, his carriage and the horses were important because that was all part of presenta presentation. It would be like your limos are today when dignitaries come in. Um, let's see if I left anything out here. Anyway, the most, there's lots more information in this book, and it is interesting. It's not a real thick book. It's well written. The author is a historian. He um, has, he is teaching with Northwestern University and the University of Vermont, and there's also photos in the book. But it gives pause to this whole idea of voting. If at that time people felt so good uh, about being heard, they didn't feel left out, they were being represented, although most did not have the vote. And what do we see in today's America and in other countries? Everybody has a vote. They're not being represented, are they? So it gives pause to this whole notion of voting and how it can be twisted, which is what I kind of gleaned from the book. I hope you pick it up. It's worth a look.